Hey guys, and welcome back to more Persona 5 Royal. And in this episode, we prepare for our final battle with Maruki, which is just a little over a week away. And not gonna lie, kind of scared. We still have some time though, so let's prepare to the best of our ability. But before all that bull crap, please, Kawakami, I know I ask you for a massage literally like every week or month. It's not that often, is it? Uh, feels like it, but... Yeah. We're gonna be doing a lot in this episode, guys. Like, going immediately to sleep! <laughs> no, we, uh... uh... I feel a strange weight pressing down on my body! Uh, maybe I'm just feeling the stress of daily life. Or the pressure of Maruki's reality closing! No, it's just Morgana. He's sitting. But so far, only Morgana has his ultimate armor. So we gotta work on everyone else's, and many plagues have swept through this world. Cholera, measles, pestilence, all diseases of incredible strength. They resist all our cures, and yes, some can even kill. But there's one disease we do not fear. We even welcome it. Any guesses? Uh, it's a disease we call happiness. <laughs> Do you think I was only being dramatic? Yes. A scientific study suggests the emotion of happiness spreads in much the same way as a disease does. You. Now, you there with the shabby hair. Huh? Was a... How far did this study suggest personal happiness can spread? Uh, this one's the longest, so I'm gonna pick that this answer. <laughs> But well, we're saying this so it could go on forever. Wonderful! That's the correct answer! It would seem your own happiness can indirectly affect the mood of your friends, friends, friends. Their findings suggest that happiness is spread through connections and physical proximity. Under these principles, perhaps it's not impossible to create a world in which everyone can be happy. Hmm... I wonder if Maruki read a similar study. Maybe. Just maybe. And speaking of Maruki, we gotta go back to his palace. But I can't bear that thought. A world of endless, uninterrupted peace. That's a terrifying idea. Where's the thrill in a world without strife, despair, agony? Without unhappiness, there is no true happiness. I don't want to live in a world that boring. Yeah, okay. This guy never changes. Seriously, despair? God. Get over it! Ugh! A world with no Atlas games, though. Gosh, that would be true despair. <laughs> oh, man. You guys don't even know how much these games mean to me. I don't know. There's just something about them. Maybe it's the demons. <clears throat> I mean, uh, shadows. That draw me to this franchise. Can't tell you. It's something, though. Hey, have you heard of this AI mask guy? Well, I mask Ozu, I guess. Some extreme video streamer with a robot mask with a big audience. We got a request on the fan site from someone who knows him in real life. One of the streamer friends? Apparently, they wanted to stop streaming himself going around doing borderline illegal stuff. When anyone tries to talk him out of it, he flips out and gets violent. They say he's out of control. God, that is bad. We gotta stop him. I agree. So, if we have word from one of his personal contacts, does that mean we know his name? Yeah, about that. He says he's not gonna post this guy's info online. I guess this eye mask Ozu guy ticked off a lot of people. If he got docs, things could get ugly. So we only have his title then. Or screen name or whatever. How can we get more hints? I'm looking at his archive now. A lot of these streams seem to be from Kichi Joji. If we check around in Kichi Joji, maybe talk to some students? We might learn something. Students, huh? So our best bet is probably weekday afternoons? But Kichi Joji is the only place he visits. Couldn't hurt to check other locations, too. Okay, then. Let's all look around. We'll leave Kichi Joji to you. Mm. Got it. 
So he's doing borderline illegal stuff. And some goofy mask. Cramping our style and making life hard for people. We gotta shut this guy down. For all their sakes. Right. The fake man show. Don't worry. I'll gladly dispose of another rotten streamer. <laughs> Just kidding. Anytime they mention another YouTuber or a streamer in a game, I always like to... Oh, wait, where the crap am I going? I'm going to Shinjuku. <laughs> no, I'm not going to Shinjuku. I'm going to Akihabara. That's where the arcade is. Don't. I like to <laughs> always have like... Ugh. I despise them. They don't play Shovel yeah. Forge like I can. Anyways, this is the uh, last little gift. I want to grab it. He's kind of cute. If you're curious, his name is Jago. And he's a mascot for a real world snack company. And it's Yusuke's favorite snack. Maybe we should give this to Yusuke. Might try to eat the snack out of, like, the straw out of his hand, though. <laughs> Maybe I'll just hold on to him. He's kind of rare, after all. You can't win this game in the first try? Nice going. You're not cool. A Jago doll, huh? You should put it somewhere in your room. I still don't know how to pronounce him, but yes, I will. Now that's taken care of. Here's the thing about the ultimate armors in Persona 5 Royal, guys. To obtain the ones for our female party members, which is basically just on now that I think about it, we actually have to okay. return to Maroki's palace and fight a specific shadow. This marks the only time we've had to re-enter a palace after reaching the top. But trust me, you want this specifically as on as one of your favorite party members, like she basically is for me. Essentially what we're trying to do here is hunt down the Skaha Shadow, which I swear to God, I thought I did, but it turns out I didn't negotiate for the rare material. So, we're yet again going to try and just not level up too much and locate this shadow to the best of our ability. Oh my God, I have to use these again. <gasps> oh, this is gonna take forever. Fingers crossed. Come on, come on. Yes, there we go. God, what am I? Playing Persona or am I hunting for shiny Pokemon? Jesus Christ. All right. So, this is the spawn that we want. Kukulin and Skaha. Because we've already recruited Skaha, she will most likely agree to give us an item. However, we need more than one item because I want this armor for my whole party. Also, ow, that sucks. Uh, It's a chance to drop the item. And there are multiple different equipment you can get from this item that she might have a chance to drop. It's a pain, but here we go. Let's hope my charm is still intact. Uh, hey, girl. Can you spare some change? <laughs> oh, my. Would you forgive me if I give you this? I'm sure you could tell me it's good quality. There we go. Thank God. I got her on the first try, but hey, could you maybe give me another? This is still not enough. You're insufferable. Yes! Holy crap, this is so lucky! Then again, there are three female party members that could really benefit from this item. You still desire more, truly? Yes! You know, in case I want to do a magic build for Sumire. Oh, is this still not enough? Oh my god, we actually got them all! Yo, thanks lady! Holy crap, two tries! It would please me greatly if this were to benefit you. I'll be taking my leave now. Yeah, me too. It's I'm out of here. We still got to clean those up, but yeah. The male slash female slash cat split of armor does complicate okay. things a little bit, but no, that is just unbelievable luck. I've tried to get those armors and it has just been like pulling hair because there's really just not a lot of Skaha that spawn in this area. It's mostly for puzzles, but yes, you want to acquire the Sooty Dark Armor. You really only need one, but hey, I got four, so I'll take it. Now to just get back to the entrance. Okay. Now I know what you're probably thinking. Johnny, why did you get this the first time you came to the palace? I don't know why you sound like Marge Simpson, but to answer, honestly, just freaking forgot like <laughs> there's no metagaming aspect to it we just want these for something we're gonna do in this episode because yeah the ultimate armors some are easy to get like this one for example some are not anyways you understand it by now we got kawakawa kami again i'm sorry i mean it's not like i hate seeing it's just a little awkward i guess 
Seriously, you don't have to wear the outfit. I just... Anyhow. <laughs> now let's uh, try to get some armor, shall we? Four sooty dark armors will be washed by Kawakami for us for free. And once we get Hi. these back, it's time to do something kind of fun. And I quit that job, but here I am. Did you really have to call me after I left? I'm sorry. I would have just I would have mentioned it, but the game won't let me. Kawakami's working extra hard tonight, but for the dudes, it's time to make some other armor, which means we're going to Kichi Joji. We also have to hunt down some information in Kichi Joji. We can't really do that today. So instead, into the velvet room I go. Yes. Hope that's okay. These trials. I believe that you can overcome them. Lavenza, don't spoil crap that hasn't happened yet. I'll do the trials later. Gash! After a little four-way into mementos, but now to craft the additional ultimate armors. It's really just itemizing two personas over and Welcome over again. Not room. tricky at all. Unfortunately for us, engine. one of these personas to itemize is locked behind DLC. I do not know why they did this, but the DLC like persona, Messiah from Persona Three, once itemized, is one of the best options for defense for female party members. And if you recall, a persona of another story. He appears before Judgment Day to save the virtuous. He is a universal figure, appearing in myths around the world. Many stories involve his death and rebirth. And very fitting, we will be killing him and resummoning him to craft. Uh, basically what is armor for our you girls. You, yeah. The other persona that you will need for the boys is Satan. Like it. Luckily for us, this persona is easily obtained. Not even a little bit difficult. I will say, though, I kind of want to fuse a better Satan. The skills I have on him right now aren't the best, but eh, we'll worry about that a little bit later. And last but not least, there is one more option for females. And Awaken it is in the form of a advanced room, fusion. I'm not even going to try and pronounce this guy's name because every time I've tried, it is horribly, horribly wrong. But it appears I can't hold any more personas. Well, ain't that great. But basically, just craft this persona, itemize him. It has decent-ish stats. And if I recall, it's a bra? Uh, actually, I kind of want to fuse him now to make sure I'm remembering correctly. Crap. Yeah, I think I will make him after all. Heck, if I'm gonna sound like some goddamn pervert just because I misremembered, but yeah, to make Sarosha, I think is how you're supposed to say him. You have to get all these goddamn random personas. I already freaking got them. A bunch of them you actually find inside of the Quilioth world of Mementos. You remember where that place was and in Zoroastrian lore. Sarosha's duty is to listen to the cry of humans for Ahura Mazda. He is also known to descend after sunset to vanquish evil. His name literally means observance. He kind of cool looking. He got the same like eyeball sticking through his head with like Vanu Mana, but like he cool. He got he got thing parchment papyrus whatever you want to call it. We're just gonna make him and itemize him. The skills do not matter. Then again though, for the thing we're gonna be doing very soon, some blessed skills wouldn't be bad. But yeah. Hey, buddy, sorry I kind of didn't really make you sound super cool. I am Sarosha. My ears shall receive all of your wishes. I will become a mask and reward your noble soul. Now you become a bra! Because that's what you are. Wait, maybe that's only in the Japanese version. Uh-oh! <laughs> I guess we're going to find out if they change that during the localization progress. But, uh, hey, if you want Angelic Grace, I guess he's cool. Why would you want that? When it's already on Yoshitsuna, yeah, I, I don't know. Some of these are alright, I guess. But now to actually itemize all these suckers. This. Convert a persona. I hope we had is the angelic bra. I was right! So, we have the tantric oath, the serious armor, and the angelic bra. Yeah. Like its name suggests, it will not work for dudes. But dudes, have it easy. They have. Satan's armor works perfectly for them, but if you're trying to protect your girls, you really have kind of a problem. The Messiah armor is basically the best they can get as far as like defenses go. The Angelic Bra does technically offer better like defense on paper, but the magic reduction is way better, so <laughs> I had to make it, what can I say? But 
Yeah, that's basically what I'm getting at. Now for the boys. God dang, Satan, you effing scary, dude! I mean, I, I, <laughs> I guess that's the point. When you play Megami... Oh my god, I thought the fusion effed up again. When you play Megami Tensei so much, I don't know. Satan stops being a, holy crap, that's evil, too. Alright, let's do this. We've been, we've done this before, bro. Get on with it. I'm sorry, Messiah. We had to do it. I didn't want to. Be a really good armor. Anyways, I'm going to create some duplicates just for the rest of our party. And then I guess we'll get out of here. And now that we're done with that, we should probably equip the armor, but... Come on, we can do that anytime. In the meantime, though, I kind of want to show what happens when you go to the jazz club. Just, I plan to go to the jazz club one more time in this playthrough just to make sure everyone gets the best of their abilities. But there's a drink tonight that will boost all your stats. This wonderful drink will help your stamina and soul. Sounds pretty yummy. But the singer do? won't be here today. Uh, we'll just go hey. with, hmm... I guess we could take Sumire. Oh. Sumire, huh? Yeah, why not? I'm going to take a little stroll. Enjoy your date night. Shut up, mom. <laughs> hey. Welcome. Thanks for coming in. God yeah, dang it. $30, one stinking pineapple, stinking juice. <laughs> That's a lot of money, dude. Wait a minute. And I, like, constantly buy smoothies. But those things are huge. Anyway. Uh, um. Senpai, you're so mature. Coming to jazz clubs and all? Is it difficult to um, order by yourself or? No, you just ask what you want. It's that easy. Mmm. Kiwi. This drink is good. That's expected from a professionally made drink. And then we talk. And then I rub my neck because I'm nervous. Um. Cooking is tough, but it's surprisingly good training. You have all the steps written down then simulate how to execute them. Some of that can be carried over to gymnastics, too. Getting the taste right is still hard, though. Yeah, I can imagine. Maybe you can ask Sojiro for some tips? I chatted with Samiri for a while. Yeah. And now, power! I feel a little strange. Time certainly does fly by. Does that make me sound a bit like an old lady? This gave me another chance to reflect on myself. We can't forget the reason that keep us going. Looks like spending time in the jazz club has affected Sumire's heart. And now, all, right. all of her stats will increase by one. Sure, not the best use of your time, maybe, but hey, it's a boost nonetheless. All right. And her HP and SP will increase. <laughs> it was fun today. I hope you'll invite me here again. Shall we head home? It's getting a little late. Well, yeah, that's probably a good idea. So if you're trying to get a special someone to 99999 stats, you Hi. might be able to do it if it's Ryuji. I don't know. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. Oh, gosh. Wait, did I screw up? Huh? Uh, all right. I'll see you later. Why are, there, why are there two different sets of armor? Crud. Also, I really hope Kawakami isn't judging me that I need girls' clothes washed. Whatever. Ah! I'm thinking of quitting my job. What? I know our company used to be pretty shady, but it's gotten a lot better now. Something happened? Uh, I guess you could say that. It's not that I hate this job or anything. My side job's been doing pretty well. My stocks are looking good too. I'm ranking it in. I barely have to work. Well, look at it that way. It just seems stupid to leave have a full-time job. And say he can do whatever he wants as long as he's happy, but this is just kind of sad. Yeah, I don't know. I like having a job, personally. I mean, don't get me wrong. I really lucked out, but having something to look forward to is pretty nice. This request kind of caught my eye on the fan side, dude. An indie idol tricked my dad, and now my family's falling apart. It's that idol's fault that my mom and dad always fight. Mom got really mad today. She was shouting about them heading for divorce. I just want mom and dad to be happy again. Yeah, so you get the picture. I think this poster's just a kid. Makes all this crap hit a little harder, you know? Yeah. We have to destroy the idol industry! Yeah! Wait, no, uh... 
It sucks to come home to an arguing family. Anyhow, I did some digging on this indie idol lady. Her stage name's Star Lilina. Honestly though, she seems pretty on the level. No shady business, no cheating the fans, nothing. No hits on the nav either. Huh? If I had a guess, I'd say it's the dad who's the problem on this one. Sounds like he goes to Akihabara every day. Wanna go check it out? Mm. Guess we got to. So his dad's obsessed with an indie idol, huh? Well, we'll need his name before we can do anything else. Let's go. Guess we go to Akihabara, try to gather some info. Right, an idol and a unicorn is our last mementos mission. No, seriously, this is the last one. So, let's make sure we do a good job. We also got that other one to figure out, but eh, that ain't going anywhere. Oh man, I gotta put my single giraffe through the dump. More on that later though. Let's head to the main alleyway and hey, see hey. if we can find anything. You have a target we still haven't identified, right? Let's look for the idol obsessed dad. Listen, I know they're cute and all, but seriously. You you have a wife, dude. God dang it. Keep it together. Mm. Yeah. These two don't look like fathers, but then again, I am an idiot. No, geez, when I look online, I see people bragging about how great their lives are. No thanks, dude. People wouldn't stop talking about the Phantom Thieves last year. But something like this disappeared off the map. So what were the Phantom Thieves exactly? It was just people trolling. When I actually stop and think about it, it's obviously just some edgy BS. We are not edgy! Stealing hearts is cool! Oh, this is probably the guy I'm looking for. Oh, you're back. I'm so happy that you came to see Lilinyan again! <laughs> Lilinyan? Do you think it's, this is that idol Lilina? That name came up in the post about the dad that was obsessed with indie idols. Let's get a closer look. Thank you for always buying so much, Fuanyan. But are you sure it's okay with your family? Uh, yes, yes, it's completely fine. Nothing's a problem if it means I get to talk to you, Lilinyan. <laughs> Just don't overdo it, okay? Fuanyan, I want you to stay my fan for a long time. Oh, my heart. You're an angel. Now, could I please get today's autograph from you? Uh, okay. To Anju Fuwenyan. Done. Okay. I gotta get to work now. See you later, Fuwenyan. <laughs> See you later? That was just awkward. Well, we got his name now, but we still don't know if he's the parent of our client. Let's go ask him. Hey, buddy, you a dad? Uh, Lilinyan is such an angel. Let's find out if this is the dad who's overly obsessed with India. We already freaking know that. Do, do you need something? I've just finished talking with an angel. <laughs> I feel like I could say anything right now. <laughs> hey, uh, so uh, how many CDs you bought? Can I have one? Uh, of course. The only reason I keep working is so I can show my support for her. Well, my wife does make a bit of a fuss about it. I have no place at home or in my family. So I think I deserve to at least splurge a little here. Yeah, but that's really sad. Uh, what, what, what's going on with your family? Well, this is a fairly common thing in families. A father's role is paying the bills. He's not really involved in the child's life. No matter how much she might want to be. Dang. Is that really what you want, though? Uh, uh, of course it is! You have no idea how much effort I've put in. If I wanted to hear at a lecture, I'd talk to my wife. The only th one I need is Lilinyan, okay? He's got no place at home, and he wants to get involved in his kid's life, but he can. He's got an unstable family situation, but he's still fixated on that idol. Looks like we've got the right guy. Let's discuss this at the hideout with everyone else. Deal. God. Jay ain't even that hot, dude. Okay, sorry. <laughs> not the point. Point is, this guy's marriage is not in the best place. And he's using the idol industry as an outlet instead of hanging out with his kid. It sucks. But surprisingly common. 
You remember that eye mask guy? Let's see if we can dig up anything on his real name. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Sumiri. Uh, I'm I'm technically going to be talking to other girls, but only for the moment. Okay, you don't care. Whatever. We're moving on. Have you heard of that streamer called Eye Mask Ozu? Hey. I think it's OZ, but hey, they're talking about OZ. Let's listen. Oh yeah, he body slammed into the line at the croquet shop and had a tantrum saying, you're blocking traffic. Gotta be honest, I recalled when I saw that. Yeah, that one. Amaski, my classmate. He's apparently that guy's little brother. Oh, seriously? I feel sorry for him. Wanna be roped up in trouble just for being family with a guy like that? And he's got a lot of haters too. Like that group hanging around in the alley. I can't say I'm surprised. And so, I mask Ozzy. That's a little brother whose last name is Amasaki. He's got haters? That's concerning. Yes. <laughs> Morgana. They're apparently hanging out in Harmony Alley. Let's go take a look. Okay. So, that's the first step. Now we gotta look for some hooligans here. Hmm. They don't really look like hooligans at all, actually, but hey, are you guys haters? Hmm. I guess these places don't open till nighttime. Wait, no, what the? I'm not trying to talk to the ramen shop. Yeah. Did you get any info on Eye Mask OZ? Oh. Me and these guys are his haters. Let's listen. Yeah, I got something good. His name and phone number. Now it's easy, too. You think for an eye, you have better cyber security? <laughs> and I noticed something else. Eye Mask OZ. It's just an anagram of his real name. Huh. <laughs> I bet he thought he was being clever. Won't be long now until we figure out where he lives. Then we'll gather everyone who hates him and finally get what he deserves. He's pulled the same kind of crap himself. He should know what's coming. Jesus. These guys are bad news. I never would have relaxed if they were after me. And I mask Ozzy. It's an anagram of his real name. That's some interesting info. Yeah, but I don't know what an anagram is, so. How'd it go, people? This guy does uh, stuff like vandalize illegally parked cars or dropkick smokers in non-smoking areas. I kind of see why they say this eye mask guy is out of control. Plenty of people aren't happy with his antics. But he does seem to have quite a following. It seems he has a strange sort of charisma, despite everything. I asked around too, but I didn't learn much. Sorry. Did you figure anything out? Uh, yeah, his name's like an anagram. Uh, maybe Futaba can do something. <laughs> uh, okay, anything else? <laughs> yeah, I got his last name, so that should make it a little easier. And all that remains is to unscramble the whole meaning. So if he's AI Mask Ozzy, his last name's Amasaki, then it's just Ozzy, right? Yes, you're right. Well done, you're so smart. Wait, uh, yeah, so the. AI mask is just Amasaki? He's separated his first and last name into discrete parts. Not discreet enough. AI mask comes out neatly to Amasaki. That also explains the extra A in the word. Dude. And OZ on its own can be read backwards to find the name Izuo. I think. Which means our target's name is most likely Izuo Amasaki. Yeah. Just check the nav. We got a hit. That's our advisor! Freaking awesome! Yes! That sells it. Now we know his real name. All that's left is to meet at the hideout. Right. So. That means we gotta go to Mementos! Well then, we have some new Intel on Mementos targets. Let's start with the one first. This Intel's on a guy who's so obsessed with idols that's destroying his family. I would have speak with him personally, but he seems really oppressed when it comes to his family. I thought that was just obsessed with idols, but it sounds like there's more to it than that. You notice? Yeah. Feels like he's escaping into the idol world because things aren't going well with his family. I bet his kids just worried about him and believes idols are bad because of that. I'd hate to see a family broken apart because of some stupid misunderstanding. It's totally time for changing his heart. Same. Right, I know it. fans like to spend all their money on their favorite idol members, but I don't think this guy's like that. Right. We gotta stop him before he home wrecks his own family. <laughs> that sounds awful. Anyway, Futaba and I already left him a calling okay, card. Let's, go. let's hurry and change his heart. That's not all. Up What's next, 
intel's on this video streamer known as AI Mask OZ. He does some borderline illegal stuff. He has a lot of fans. He also seems to have plenty of critics and haters. I'm trying to find out his home address. Seriously? That's the thing that requesters were most scared of. Mm. And we can't just leave this be. I agree that we should change his heart. Yeah. It's already bad enough that someone like him is lurking in our city. I figured you'd all agree. It's already sent out the calling card. We gotta go. What? Uh, uh, no. From top of, we're not unanimous. Uh, whatever. Yeah. Let's take down this annoying big bro. Uh, you know, I don't want to go either, Joker. Fine. We're going. Back to mementos. Let us consider our target total. Two. Hmm. All right. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Uh, okay, screw it. I don't care anymore. We're busting Izanagi no Okami Picaro out of gay baby jail. I'm... Th these guys are so easy. I'm just gonna kill them all in one hit. I don't care. I don't care anymore. Let's go. Let's get Izanagi back. It's time to see how strong he has grown. For those who are not aware, the longer you keep a persona locked up, the stronger it gets, depending on the incense you burned. And, well, it's been a bit, so let let's see how sense. strong he got. So, can, give me give me my Izanagi back, please. Prisoner? Oh, wow, crud. He actually got a decent boost of agility, too. Heck yeah. So now he has 65 magic. Not the best. Obviously, that'd be 99, but still, it seems to have not the worst. Come on. Come on back to me. Yeah. Now we can put anybody else in gay baby jail, but I don't really care that much. All right, let's side. get to exploring mementos. Really simple Indeed. and easy to take down enemies. The first enemy, area 13. The next one, 15. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We never have to come back here again. <sighs> let's make it count. Come on, come on, let's get this done. Okay, we're here. It's time for you to learn, punk. The only idol you should worship is Risa Kuzikawa! Alright, there's Anji, uh, Fuwa, let's change his heart, and Joker, let's not talk about Risa san okay? I'm just saying she's the best, obviously. Anyways, yeah, seriously dude, quick, quick, quick. You don't gotta spend all your money on this chick, like... Lilinyan is so kind. Lilinyan is warm. Who cares? All I need is Lilinyan! Uh, come on, man. You know that's not right. Don't you? Seriously, we've been through this so many times. Of course it's right. Spending on my money on her makes me happy. I'll do anything for her. Lelignan's smile is what I live for. No. He's in no condition to listen. Watch out, Joker. Okay. Ah, oh, crap. We're gonna give her her outfit. Oh well, whatever. Yeah, he turns into a unicorn. Who even cares anymore? This dude's dead. He's dead to me. Seriously, bro, come on. The only person that can complain about my hobbies is my wife. And that's uh, enough. Uh, just go away already. I don't wanna. Myriad truths. <laughs> Dang, that's one tanky dude. Unicorn. Wait, can dudes be unicorns? Okay, let's. <laughs> Oh crap, we can't do that. Well, never mind. Uh, hmm. I guess it doesn't really matter. Crud, we'll just go for maximum damage. Put all the buffs on. No, I mean, Joker. Sorry, I mistook him for somebody else. Charge him up with President's Insight. God. I know it would probably be better if that was on Haru, but seriously, Haru's got a bug. Come on. Really, dude? Anyway. Paris! How is he still alive? Oh yeah, we have to throw a knockdown. <laughs> That's all I had to do, seriously. Hold on, if I'm gone, there's going to be one less otaku cheering for Lilinyan. Aw, what a shame. Just let me go for Lilinyan. I get idols are important or whatever, but it's not everything in life, right? We need to tell him that there's more important things in life. Here's the stuff we know about him. He's got no place at home, and he wants to get involved with his kid's life, but he can't. So, by choosing the right options, we can steal his heart. Willingly. The only person I want to protect is the loving Yon. Do you understand me, right? My love for her? Uh, 
I mean, I, don't get me wrong. I like Reese, but like, dude, you got someone else you got to look out for. Your kid and your wife. Ugh. Why do you got to bring up my family? Family, huh? Well, I've done with my wife as RQ. Forcing the kid to learn a crap ton of stuff. I told her it's too much, but she doesn't understand that. My words don't reach her heart. But not Lilignon! Lilignon always pays attention to what I have to say. She's the only one that listens to me! Uh, we're back where we started. Alright. Yeah, but like... You can also talk to your kid. Won't he listen to you? My... My kid? I can't do anything now! All my money goes to her CDs. If I have to go to the concerts... I rarely ever thought of my family. My wife was the one that stopped caring about me, so I decided to stop caring about her. I see. And that's what got you in idols, huh? You might think we stopped caring about his family. We all know that's not the case. Joker. Tell him, Joker. My, my family doesn't need me. Nah, man. It's not too late. You can start over. Just go back to them. Uh, even me? Yes, please. Quit being a deadbeat dad! God! And give some money to me. <laughs> Seriously, this guy's loaded. What the crud? I'm a victim too. <sighs> me and my wife were always arguing about how to raise our kid. That's when I found Lilignon. Lilignon was always working hard and smiling. I felt like I was chasing that dream with her. I was using Lilignon to escape my stressful home life because she allowed me to dream again. Having a student point that out to me drove me nuts. I'm so pathetic. And again. But now you know what you've got to do, right? I really messed up. Indeed. As long as I deal with my family first, then I can chase after Lilignan. Uh, uh, maybe. Yeah, whatever. I'm done. <laughs> Heck yeah! Come on. So you're not gonna stop chasing her? But you're like. Uh, uh, I guess it's not a bad thing to have a hobby. Become a dad your kid can be proud of, alright? Thank you. If it's well, not too late, I will. God, we really should have hit him harder. Seriously. Chill out with the freaking idols. They're not. Ugh. Well, whatever gets him to spend time with his family again. Anywho, not done yet. We got time to go. A job well done. Shall we continue? I guess. Ugh. Let's make this adjustment first before I forget. <laughs> I'm a human too. There we go. Now we all match. Moving on! Next target is just two floors up. So let's get to it. And alright. Here we go. The last mission of Mementos. That's God, this took forever. There. That's... Amasaki. Let's stop him for his brother's sake. Yeah, and also his sake. Seriously, bro. Cut this crap out. It ain't cool. <laughs> dance! Dance! Seeing these idiots get so upset, but my videos is incredible! Uh, so you're Amasaki. You seriously don't give a crap about how much trouble you're causing your family? What? Trouble for my family? You wouldn't understand. Haters are my motivation. My parents and my brothers are idiots too. They're just cowards who don't understand my fame. <laughs> Come at me, bro. I'm gonna get even more famous. Uh, okay, bro. Whatever you say. Here he comes, the dancer of the dead. Yeah, I don't know why the cruddy turns into macabre, but you do. Here it is. Now allow me to show you my popularity! My subscribers! Here they are! Dang, bro. Your sub's kinda looking ugly. Not gonna lie. Uh, looks like he's calling for backup. He's calling for reinforcements. Be careful, Joker! Yeah, I don't give a crud. All will be revealed! <laughs> Here's the thing about Amasaki. He is weak to bless damage of any kind, and honestly... Even though the legions don't- God dang it! Even though they do not have a weakness, right, they still can be crit and baton pass from. Unfortunately, we're getting super unlucky, which is a shame. Using high energy here is actually kind of a risk. <laughs> we might run up out of SP, but uh, maybe we'll get the burn. Nah, we got nothing. He's already half HP, though. The skills 
from him are just so, like, seriously, what the... They just want you act. Come on, you did not have to summon another! Ugh! This is such a pain. What do I do here? I guess just spam Miria troops. <laughs> it's so good, how can I not? God, it's literally the perfect skill. Perfect offense and perfect defense. Screw it, we'll just do this. And use an item to either uh, baton pass back to Joker and we should be able to end it. So if we have any bless. Nope, we're always out of the bless. What a pain. Maybe we can get it. No, we can't get an insta kill on a boss. <laughs> At least not this boss, but uh, yeah. We're just trying one shot kill. Maybe baton. Nope. Didn't get it. Crud. Just defend. It's a little bit easier. Come on, you're making this annoying. He's just gonna summon another. Oh, so much a pain. <laughs> Maybe we'll just do enough damage. I was hoping for a uh, boost from Futaba, but that's all right. Down he goes. Pretty easy stuff. If you have the strongest persona ever, Izanagi no Okami Picaro. If you don't, though, just, you know, use physical attacks on the Legion. Bless skills on the main guy. You'll be fine. I didn't have a choice. See my view count get higher and higher. Just felt so good. I got so mad at my family for taking that enjoyment away from me. Come on, man. A number on some websites, not everything. Family's what's really important. Yeah, I punched him real hard. Said horrible things to my parents. I'm sorry. I, I'm gonna apologize to everyone. Good. Hopefully his family stays safe. Jeez. And with that, we're finally done. We've saved everyone we can. Now let's get the crud out of here, yo! I'm down with that. I'm glad that went well. What do we do now? <laughs> you can go to the entrance and never think about this awful, awful place again. And instead, prepare for the next challenge. For our next challenge, it's time to finally begin the special battles here inside the Velvet Room. Instead of speaking to Igor, if you instead speak with the Velvet Attendant, what shall we do? you can begin the Prison Labors, a special battle exclusive to Persona 5 Royal. There are five matches to pit your party against, and seeing that we're level 93 and we have the best armor and weapons and defense in the game, yeah, these shouldn't be too tough, but still, I'd wanna show them off because, well, I think they're pretty cool. So first up, we have a trial battle, which gets incredibly difficult. The starting level is only 10, but there's a catch to these challenges. Up next, we have one prioritizing baton passes called Chain with the Legion, Kinki, and his technicals. Let me out, dude, please! Please, I'm here. Then, survival. Can you defeat Alice and her swarm of uncles? Well, we'll see about that. And last but not least, the trickster bout, which... Yeah, it's a little tricky, to say the least. Now, raw strength will not win you the day here. Instead, these challenge battles have very specific point requirements. The end goal here is to get enough points to earn all of the rewards. And to do so, you have to play by the rules and also within the turn count. And can I just say, Atlas, please do this again. This is the coolest crap ever. I love being pushed to my limits. They have done something similar in the past with some of the battles in SMT3 Nocturne, but not to this degree. It's so cool, man, and the top reward here is an anklet that teaches debilitate to anybody. Yeah, we want that. So, to perform best here, we have to do a lot of technical attacks with Joker, and optimally with a baton pass to get the best possible point multiplier. So. Let's give it a shot. For this party, we are going to be bringing in a very specific team. On, Haru, and Akechi. The reason for Haru is to give Heat Riser to Joker. The reason for On here is her high energy and the ability to use Lullaby and Akechi just for the occasional, you know, baton pass and debilitate. For our personas, <laughs> Izanagi no Okami is very tempting, but at the end of the day, you can get by with a lot of different personas, and you don't necessarily need the DLC personas. Just because this guy has 86 magic does not make him automatically the best persona. Because we are hunting for technical damage, in fact, the answer is a different DLC persona altogether. In fact, I created Raul just for this purpose. 
to kick some butt. However, we also need to start with a bad end for those auto skills. So, let's give this a shot. I, uh, I'll be honest, I have not practiced this. It might go kind of bad. I don't know. We shall see, but let's start the battle. Here it is. I alluded to this in the beginning. My favorite song in Persona 5 Royal. The Prison Labor, dude. It's just... Ugh! It's god dang amazing. But yes, the game will tell you stuff already said. If you lose in battle here, you don't totally lose. And the damage you inflict is impacting to your score. So make sure you do a lot of damage. So first things first, we gotta get off this nasty effing persona and start the Phantom Show. Almost all of these enemies are susceptible to Lullaby or Phantom Show. So make sure you use them and we don't gotta be too hasty now. We got 19 turns to blow. So we're gonna charge everybody up. You know the drill and you know how to put on these outfits. <laughs> so I think it's better to just save Haru's SP. Go ahead and debilitate Uriel because I swear between the two of them, Uriel should not be stronger, but sometime he do just be living. So, the Herald of Death and the Cleanser of Heaven. <laughs> Hope you're ready! This is gonna hurt. You already know the drill. Maximum damage! We might just get the reward. Oh my gosh, we already have two chests. We got three chests and one move! Heck yeah! But really, the more optimal play is to use Phantom Shell. And really... I don't know, man. Honest. Oh, crap. We missed one. Dump. That's kind of bad. On here is just as strong as Joker. People sleep on her insane power output. But no, Blazing Hell is unbelievably powerful. Specifically with the new armor. We can... Yeah! There it is! So you don't have to use Joker every time. But here comes the third wave. That's where things can get tricky. Um... I'm just kidding. We're gonna crush it. <laughs> you thought I wanna use Phantom Show again? Come on! Here's the best part of the song. Are you ready? I know I am. Oh my gosh. I had to sync it up. I just had to. I'm such a nerd. I know. I don't care, man. God, prison labor. Meguro. Whoever helped him on this song, probably. God dang. Geniuses. I love him to death. And what's that face? She's like, oh, that all you can do? We got a million points on the first round. Pretty nice. So yeah, hand over that debilitate. That's my trickster. That'd be kind of nice. And this trial was exceptionally difficult. But I had no doubt you would succeed because of the power you have built through your unyielding efforts. You will surely be able to carve a path to the future. Hey, how are my friends in the velvet room? Don't worry about it. Okay. Challenge battle scores are based on the amount of damage dealt. Therefore, dealing massive damage. Well, if you get a better score, you don't say. If you're playing at home and you're like, Ah, man, what the crud? No matter what I do, I just can't seem to do as much damage as Johnny. It can't just be Raul, right? No, well, that's actually not the case. If you go on the highest difficulty, the way damage calculation is, well, calculated, will in fact change. It's kind of risky because, well... Actually, no, it's not. You can turn the difficulty down whenever you want. <laughs> I got another Atlas game mixed up. But if you're struggling, that might help you out. But do? let's do another one. And yeah, there's a challenge here I think is even more difficult than the uh, trickster bout. And when you've received all the rewards possible, it'll just say all done. And <laughs> why is she sitting next to Kukulon like that? Like, go on. Kill him. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> up next, we have Alice who... Uh, yeah, I've actually struggled with a bit more until I unlocked the power of Raul, but really, if you just put as much power into on as possible, you're going to be good, and... Is she, is she gonna say it? She should say it, come on, say your catchphrase! Alice! <laughs> there it is. I think she already said it, but... Anyways, we're gonna start this battle. We can use the same team as before. Just make sure you have Celestine with high energy. I think you'll be okay. Round one. We have Alice versus her uncles. Uncle Black and Uncle Red. These guys, uh, throw back to the first Shin Megami Tensei, but they're gonna go down just the same. We're going to... Hmm. What is the best way to do this, actually? I think high energy is the play here. We should be able to get enough points, actually, in... If it's not the first round, the round after that. And gosh, just seeing all the, like, shadows in the background... 
it's that weird, like, we're fighting in a cage, right? And all the shadows are just, they have the red eyes, like Nocturne. Oh, it's so sick. I stink, I love it. But on can't get the uh, buffs from Abaddon like we can. I didn't even equip Abaddon, so I didn't even get them. But just to be extra careful, we're going to debuff Alice. She has a lot of HP. We gotta be careful of that. They'll heal up. Whatever. Do you think? Oh, am I boring you? Possibly. Uh, <laughs> so Psycho Blast is very tempting here, but because of the conditions for this fight, we want technical damage with on. And optimally, it'd be blessed damage, but she doesn't really have access to that without some accessories. So let's go for a Blazing Hell. Even though Belial has absorbed fire, this should do massive. Yep, there it is. And I think we got all the rewards on the first try. That's two chests, and there's the third. Nice! So now we just gotta end as fast as possible, which means Phantom Shell and all that good stuff. We, crap, I forgot the last round actually resists on. That's a problem. Okay, I'm gonna guard here. We have tons of turns to blow. I'm gonna Heat Riser, Joker. Put the debuffs on. Oh, crap, this is actually kind of bad. I wanna do this. I wanna try and get the biggest number possible. It's not about fighting back like these swarms of Shadows, it's just how fast can I destroy them? I think this is actually a time for uh No, we'll let on do it again. That's the play. Yeah, we got it blazing hell again. Seriously such an insanely powerful move it Costs a lot of SP, but soon that'll be remedied as well and not as much damage this time But that's okay. We got there and for this last round the these guys Zalgogan the angry warrior actually absorbs fire. So it's kind of a pain in the butt. Are we charged? Yeah, we are we need to skip our turn. No, no, no. This is what we're going to do. We're going to get the baton pass. We're already good on score, but I still just want to do as much damage as we can. So, we can't attack him. We can't attack you, though. I think that's the play. Uh, Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah, big damage. And then, toss it to... No, 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 no. Here, here's a wait. Nah, crap. We should do this instead. Baton pass to Joker. That's going to be pretty good damage. I'm trying to, like... Min-max. It's not gonna work, though. This should do enough damage to end the round. Yeah. Easily! Not bad. Not bad at all. I'm, I'm okay with almost a million. I've done better on this round, which was what I was trying to replicate, but I'm like, no, I think I messed the math up. We won the... And we get the Heat Riser Anklet. Among some other things, which are kinda nice, but uh, mostly, yeah, we want the Heat Riser and Debilitate. Oh, stop. You also get a decent amount of yen for this. On your first run through anyways, but that's going to just about do it for this episode, guys. We will return to the prison labors in the next episode because I kind of want to show off some of the easier ones. And the last round of that Jack Frost battle, yeah, that's a, that's a tough one. So I kind of want to help you guys out and clear that. But let's use, use some unorthodox strategies, which I kind of like. I took out debatably the most boring ones straight off the bat, but still. Hope you enjoyed. We made our ultimate armor. Which took a little bit of time and even wrapped up the last two Memento's missions. And next time, on Persona 5 Royal, we do everything we can before the final day. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.